Hi, I'm Vince King, Service Business and Online Learning Manager with McElroy Manufacturing. Today, Robert Shavo, one of our tech service specialists, is going to demonstrate for us how to fuse in the ditch with a McElroy Trackstar 28 fusion machine. Now, normally you would fuse lengths of pipe on the ground and then lift or roll the pipe into the ditch. However, there are circumstances when we must tie on to the end of the pipe while still in the ditch. Most of McElroy's fusion machines are designed with removable carriages to facilitate this unique procedure. Before Robert begins his demonstration, we must give every consideration to safety. Always wear the appropriate personal protection equipment, such as a hard hat and a high visibility vest. Make sure that you and the equipment operator always have a clear line of sight and communication. And above all else, follow your organization's trench safety guidelines. On another note, this video is not intended to cover fusing in an environment where flammable gas may be present. There are special precautions that must be taken in those situations. Before we begin, it is a good idea to check the fusion machine and make sure that it is ready to go. There is a checklist in each machine manual that is a great starting point. We also want to make sure we have the necessary inserts, an extension cord for the heater, and an in-ditch extension kit for the fusion machine. We can go in the ditch in either a three-jaw or four-jaw configuration. Use all four jaws whenever possible. The three-jaw unit should be used only when space is not available for the entire carriage, such as fusing onto a T or an L, or possibly doing a saddle fusion. The machine manual covers preparation for both methods. Let's prep the machine for a fusion using the three-jaw configuration. First, we're going to remove the facer from the machine. Now, the reason that we remove the facer is to make the carriage as light as possible, which then makes it even easier to handle the carriage down in the ditch. So in order to remove the facer, we'll need to loosen the facer locking bolts. Use the provided Allen wrench to accomplish this task. After the locking bolts have been removed, disconnect the hydraulic hoses from the facer. Lift the facer off of the carriage and set it on cardboard or wood blocks to keep it off of the ground. Since the facer will not be attached to the machine in our three-jaw configuration, we're going to want to remove the rear guide rod bracket. After removing the bracket, turn it over and attach it as shown. Now we need to convert our four-jaw carriage to a three-jaw carriage. Remove the fixed jaw braces. If you'd like to make the carriage even lighter, you can remove one, two, or three of the top jaws before moving it into the ditch. To remove a jaw, simply pull the detent pin, remove the jaw, and then set it to the side. To separate the three jaw carriage, remove the two bolts at the tailstock, then remove the two bolts in the inner fixed jaw. Disconnect the hydraulic connections. Attach the lifting strap to the manifold bracket. Lift the carriage assembly and lower into the ditch, positioning the fixed jaw on the side of the pipe stub sticking out of the ground. Slide the carriage assembly under the pipe and then rotate the carriage assembly around to a normal upright position. Attach the top jaws and loosely clamp around the pipe. Leave enough pipe extending past the jaw so that we can face it properly, and then tighten the clamp knob. Block the carriage from underneath for stability and support. We will load the second length of pipe into the machine. Place it into the movable jaws. Once again, make sure that there is enough pipe extending past the jaws to achieve proper face-off. Block or use a pipe roller to help align the pipe with the machine. This is very important because we do not want to put the machine in a bind. Set the facer in place and lock onto the back guide rod. Then latch on the front guide rod. Since this video is primarily concerned with in-ditch fusion, we will skip through the fusion process. If you'd like to know more about the fusion process, you can find many other videos from McElroy. Now that we have waited the full cool time, we can remove the machine from the ditch. Remove the top jaws by pulling the detent pins. Disconnect the hydraulic lines.
Rotate the carriage around the circumference of the pipe. Always rotate the unit with the valves facing upward to protect them from getting damaged. Sometimes it is helpful to slide the carriage away from the ditch wall. Then use your lifting equipment to lift the carriage out of the ditch. Reassemble the fusion machine. So as you can see, Robert made fusing pipe in the ditch with a McElroy fusion machine look relatively simple. Now your job site will probably be a little different, but just remember the important key steps that Robert demonstrated for us in this video. I hope this video gives you a little more insight into fusing in the ditch with a McElroy Trackstar number 28. Be sure to check out McElroy's many other videos to help with all your fusion needs. Go to www.mackelroy.com forward slash fusion to find additional information that includes charts and other reference materials.